hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be learning how to draft a princess that boasts here if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly do so and let's get right into it so i folded my pattern paper into two and on the starting point i'll chalk my shoulder measurement divided by two and from that point i came down to my armhole line after which i came down to my boss point on the boss and my waist so I went ahead to connect these dots together. After doing so, I just indicated the lines, my chest line, boss point, on the bust, and my waistline. So on the starting point, I'll be taking my neck measurement. I'm using 3 by 3 inches. You determine how deep you want it to get. So I'm using 3 by 3. I went ahead now to hold out my neckline. I'll be coming down by one inches for my shoulder slope. So I just chalked one inches and connected it straight down to the armhole line. So now I'll check what I have on my armhole area. I have eight inches divided by two will give me four. So you just chalk four inches on that point. Now on the chest line, I'll chalk my bust measurement divided by four. And on that four inches, I'll come in by 0 0.5 and curve in my armhole. So I went ahead to curve in the armhole. My nipple to nipple divided by 2 inches is 4. So on that boss point area, I'm just going to chalk 4.5. I added half an inch to it. So I chalked 4.5 on the bust area. But on the under bust, I'm just going to use 4 inches. So I chalked 4 inches on the under bust and also on the waist 4 inches. So now I have 4.5. 4 inches and 4 inches. I'll go ahead now to connect the lines together. After doing that, I'll be checking what I have on that ammo area. So I placed my tape and I just checked what I have. I have 10 inches, as you can see, divided by 2 will give me 5. So I'm just going to chalk 5 inches on that line. So now I'm going to connect it to the boss point line using my curve ruler i just placed it this way and i connected it to the boss point area so after doing that now we're placing our darts you need to note all the darts will be taken on this side of the pattern paper so for boss 32 to 36 you can use 1.5 boss 38 to 40 you can use 2 inches from 42 upward you can use 2.5 for your dart. So I'll be using 2 inches for the dart. So on that under bust area, I'm just going to chalk out 2 inches. Also do the same on the waistline. After that, I'm going to connect the lines together. So what I'll be doing next is connecting from the under bust to the bust point, but I'll be coming down by one inches because I don't want it pointy at that bust point area. So what you need to do is just come down from your bust by one inches. And after coming down by one inches, I'm just going to connect from the under bust to the one inches I came down at. So I'm using my curve ruler. I'm just going to connect it to that one inches. So now I'll be taking the dart. On this other part of the paper if you're on the big size you can use two inches but if you're in the smaller size you can use 1.5 so I'll be using 1.5 inches for my darts so what I did was from that point I'm just going to place my tape and chalk out 1.5 after chalking the 1.5 I'm going to be connecting it to the boss point area so I'll use my curve ruler now and just connect from that 1.5 to my boss point area so after connecting it what i'll be doing is just blending that part together so i went ahead to blend that part so now you need to note that whatever you take for your dart you need to replace it back on this other part of the paper because when you're joining this part and this together this one becomes shorter so i took 1.5 i'm going to place it back if you take two inches you place it back so whatever you take for your dart, you place it back. So I'm placing back my 1.5 inches on that part. And I'm just going to connect it together. So I went ahead to connect it using my curve ruler. I'm just going to connect it this way. 
So what I'll be doing next is checking down my measurement and placing back the dart. On that area, I took 1.5. I'm going to place it back on the chest line. So I went ahead to chalk down the 1.5 I took. And after doing that, I'll be taking my boss measurement. As you can see, I added back the dart. That's the 1.5 inches. And I'm going to add my 2 inches sewing allowance. On the under boss line, I'm going to take my under boss measurement divided by 4. I'm going to chalk it down. And I'll place back the 2 inches that I took. I added it back and my normal 2 inches sewing allowance. On the waistline, I'll place my waist measurement divided by 4. I'll place back the 2 inches that and I'll add my 2 inches sewing allowance. After doing all of that, I'll go ahead now to connect my lines together. So now this will be my new armhole curve. So I'm just going to curve out the armhole. So now we are done with the front pattern. I'm just going to tick the dart areas I'll be taking off as you can see. After doing all of that, I'll go ahead now to cut out my pattern. So guys we're done with the front pattern now for the back pattern i folded my pattern paper into two and i'm going to take 1.5 inches for my zip allowance i'm just going to chalk it straight down after doing that after the zip allowance i'm going to chalk my shoulder measurement divided by two i came down to my armhole line and i just went down to the waistline so now i'll go ahead to connect the lines together so I indicated my chest line and my waist line. So after the zip allowance, I'll be taking my neck measurement. And from that point, I chalked 3 inches by 2 inches. So I'm using 3 by 2. So I'm just going to connect it straight down to the zip allowance. And I'll be coming down for my shoulder slope by 1 inches. Then I will connect to the neckline just like this so now i'm just going to curve out my armhole so i took my curve ruler and i just curved my armhole now for the back dart i'm just going to take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by four and i'm going to place it down at the waistline then connect it straight up to the chest line so you can come down a bit on that chest line area and I'll be taking half an inch on both sides for my dart. After that, I'm going to connect it straight up to that line. So what I'll be doing next is placing my measurement. On the chest line, I'm going to place my boss measurement divided by four. And I'll be adding two inches sewing allowance. On the waistline, I'm going to place my waist measurement divided by 4. I'll place back the 1 inches that I took plus my 2 inches sewing allowance. After doing that, I'll go ahead now to connect the lines together. So I'm just going to blend that ammo area. So now, for the zip area, I don't want my zip bulging at the back. So what you need to do is just connect that waistline straight down to the zip area. And on that zip line at the waist area, just come in by 1 inches. So I came in by 1 inches on that waistline. And what I'll be doing is connecting it up. You're just going to slant it up from that 1 inches line. After doing that, I'm done with the back pattern. I'm just going to cut the pattern out. So guys, this is what it looks like. I have my front pattern and my back pattern, as you can see. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next class. Bye.